So next we're gonna establish our virtual fence. And the way we do that is that we press here in the top of the screen where it says take off permitted. Then we are getting uh, this menu where we can set the return to home altitude, we can set the max altitude and we can set the max distance. And what we basically wanna do is we wanna pull these uh, sliders to the bottom all of them like that. And that will basically determine the virtual fence that we have to work within. And now the people that have paid attention would know that there's more than uh, two times uh, 20 meters here. So this room is actually too small for us uh, to fly safe without being able to collide with the trees. So what you need to know is that you need at least 20 meters on each side of uh, the takeoff position to be able to establish a virtual fence that will protect your drone against collision. But right now we have basically a perimeter 20 meters around the drone, 15 meters in height, where we can safely operate the drone, if there was no trees present within. <laughs> so now there's two ways of launching the drone. You can either do it by pressing the sticks inwards, or you can do it by simply using the auto launch function. Simply press the icon that is located here on the left side of the screen, and then you simply hold down the button here, and the propellers will start and the drone will raise approximately 1.2 meters altitude. As uh, we saw, we put up an, a virtual fence. We can't test it to fully here because we have trees within the perimeter of 20 meters uh, radius. But what I can do now is I can head towards the end of the perimeter and then the drone should stop when it reaches 20 meters. So let's just try that. So you see, you can see in the base of the UI, you can basically see the distance from the takeoff point and now it hit 20 meters. So basically, the, even though that I'm pushing the drone or the stick, the right stick completely upwards, as you can see, maybe you can't see it. <laughs> I'm going a little bit closer. You can see, I have it completely upwards here and uh, the drone just stays. It will not go any further. We have the same limitation on the height. So if I just go up, you can see that uh, the height is increasing and we set that to 15 meters. And once it hit the 15 meter mark, it will just stop. So that means that you have basically a cylinder that is 15 meters high and 20 meters in radius. So that's really an awesome tool to practice. So if you have chosen a location where there's not that many trees like we have here, you could fly around all sorts of crazy stuff. I fully understand if you haven't flown a drone before that this is quite intimidating. But if you follow the steps that I've presented in this guide or in this lesson, then you are perfectly fine. Don't make the mistake that I did here, selecting an area where there's trees in close proximity. You need at least 20 meters of radius. I would probably say you need 30 meters, so there's some sort of way room for the GPS accuracy. So if there's like 30 meters around in the perimeter around the drone, you are perfectly fine. So I hope you like this exercise and are looking forward to the next one where we're gonna turn it up a notch. Thank you. And as always, it has been a pleasure and hope to see you in the next flight exercise.